Hello and welcome to uh, my tutorial. It's probably going to be one of the only tutorials I do. I just was making it because I was looking for a while on how to make a uh, Blender equalizer and just couldn't find any that were like in English and uh, just very, uh, very helpful. So I figured out how to make one and I'm going to uh, help stuff. Yes, help stuff. So um, I will load up Blender. And I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate from that uh, from that background. So uh, I'll just I'll turn on screencast so you can uh, see what I'm doing. Uh, okay. So uh, what I'm gonna do is select the both of these with shift. Now I'm gonna this is for noobs because I wasn't noobs, very poor noobs. But um yeah. So I'm gonna select both of these with shift and right clicking both of them. And X. No, sorry about that. Then X and delete. So uh, I'll keep the camera there. I'll just uh, I'll keep it there for right now. So what I'm going to do is I will add a cube. So to bring this over here, and I'll make it a little bit smaller. And bring it up a little bit, and then oh sorry, add is with Shift A. So Shift A. You can probably see that in the screencast. Uh, shift A. Add a plane. Let's make it really big Whoa. okay uh, that's pretty big actually <laughs> that's pretty big thanks okay um, take this now what I'm gonna do is press 5 on my number pad for orthographic mode press 1 to go to the front and just so it will look nice I will put down basically right at the bottom uh, where that red line is okay so five to get back in perspective mode. <sighs> okay, so I will now. Sorry, I'm stalling a little bit. Okay, I will um, go and split this screen in half. It doesn't have to be half. Um, or just how I did that is just I grab this this um, thing in the corner, and just drag it to the left, and in this box right here. Um, I will click on it and press graph editor. Now, I will, um, when, I, uh, when my mouse is uh, in the 3D uh, window, I press I, and I'm going to press scaling. So, I'll basically select Z, and I will key, go to key down here and bake sound to F curves. So, um, for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to use a section of Dead Mouse Strobe. I think it's uh, nice music, and I like it. I just really just cut it down with Audacity. You can use any music you want. Um, now, this is going to be used for the low frequency. So, over here, when it says lowest frequency, I'm going to keep it at zero. And for uh, the highest frequency, I'm going to put it at 20. So that's, that's not very high at all. That, uh, basically for like kick drums and stuff. So don't worry about that. Uh, just go to um, mine's in the desktop, and it's gonna be tutorial dot d uh, w a v. So um, if I press Alt A, you can see it reacts to the sound. <sighs> so um, go back, and a, a, if you want to actually hear the music, this is kind of important. You can uh, add just. Uh, add another window like this, and you can change this to the video sequence editor. So, um, yeah, just click this, we do video sequence editor, and press add, <coughs> sorry, add sound and tutorial dot wav. So, this will sound like. So, you see, that's basically, basically only, uh, only doing the, the lower sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, press five on the upper pad, seven, go to the top view, and I will press shift D to duplicate it. And I'll just uh, click and move it.
50. And dang, sorry about this. Um, let me just delete this. Don't worry about what I just did there. It wasn't important. Um, here I'll just delete this plane for right now. X. Just uh, delete the plane. Uh, right click on it and press X. So this right here. Oops. Okay. So, um, <laughs> sorry. What I just did. Don't pay attention to it. Uh, this plane, go into, press 7 on your pad, or just go here to view, and then top or something, um, shift D, and then move your mouse over like this, and you can just do shift R, 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 shift R, shift R, shift R, and just to keep on doing that. So that just uh, repeats whatever last thing did, press B to box select, and select all, uh, sorry. B, not bad, <laughs> B, select all this, and move it like this. So, what I will now do is, um, since I already have, okay, so the first one will we'll react to the low sounds, then for the second one, I'll highlight the, the second one in this, uh, in this line, and I'll press key. Big sound to F curves, and I will make it right, so the, uh, the lowest frequency will be 20. I'll make the highest frequency, um, I'll just make it why not 200, okay? It's 200, and then double click on tutorial one or whatever your, your song is. Now for the next one, make the big sound to F curves. There might be a more efficient way of doing this, come to think of it, but uh, I won't, won't be attention for that now. Okay, so I'll make this lowest frequency is 200, and the highest frequency will be 400. Look at that. And then uh, double click on control that WID. Now, key, big curves, big sound to F curves. Uh, lowest frequency will be now 400. Uh, yeah, 400. And highest frequency will be 600 and keep on doing that over and over again you can probably skip later in the video if you really don't want to watch me do this it's kind of a boring part 600 won't take very long 800 and okay now just to see how this will look right now just don't pay attention So, um, looks pretty nice. Make sure you're always on frame one when you when, when you work with this stuff, because then you'll start doing whatever. It's okay. So, key, big sound to F curves. Um, start from 800 this time, and go to 1,000. And then, key, big sound to F curves. 1,000 to 1,200. Yay, I know how to count by 200s. So, um, I'll, I'll just do one more of these just to see, just, just so you can uh, see what I'm doing here. 1,200 for the lowest one and highest will be 1,400. I can count, isn't that great? So, um, good. So I'll just, um, so I'll right, right click on the on the one that I didn't do yet. Shift right click on the other one. Shift right click on the next one. Shift right click on the next one. Shift right click on the next one, and just press X. Doesn't matter. So I will uh, just um, right click on this one. Then shift right click on this one. Shift right click on this one. Keep on holding down shift. Right click on all of them and just put this over here. You can also press G, but uh, I'm not going to just because. Press one on the number pad just to. Um, Go to the side view, put it down all the way here, and what it should look like now will be like this. Good. Now, um, why don't I just, here, I'll just go, go from the beginning, and just so you can see like the higher notes, I will um, duplicate, here, let me just go to 7 top view, duplicate this one, and I'll make it, wait, bit higher, higher frequency, oh, 
Sorry about that. So, um, no, this one, I didn't really put this band again, so, just using the trial, which gives me 10 minutes to record time. So, key, big sound to Eskers. Now, um, this will be, I'll make it 4,000, just to get the higher frequencies, 4,000 to 6,000, good, go to the UAB, and this one will be, key, big sound to Eskers. This one will be, uh, 6,000. Two, why don't I make it um, 10,000? Okay. Okay, so now what it will look like is this. Looks very good. But just to make it look a little nicer, I'll uh, just. Let's see. What I can do, actually, is make these have uh, their own little. All of them have their own colors. You can actually bake. You can actually make um make them change colors depending on what sounds are playing. But I'm not gonna go into that right now. Make it green. This one is just gonna be uh, like bluish. Nope. This one's gonna be uh, darker blue. This one's going to be. Purple. This one's going to be pink, and this one is going to be red again. And this one's going to be yellow. This one's going to be green. Isn't that nice? So I'll make them emit about. Let's see what two does. Okay, that's a bit much. Okay, um, I'll just. Uh, this one will they'll all basically emit too, just so when you're right clicking on them in the shading part, under the shading, you just emit, just click on it in the middle, two, and then enter. So right click, click to enter, right click, click to enter, and keep on doing stuff. So that let's get rolling so what we'll do now is shift a add a no day add a plane scale it up a bit that's probably pretty good and I will make a plane have a uh, just with intensity under the diffuse just go all the way down so that it's black now, um, what I will do is select check mirror and make the reflection and drag the reflection a little bit up so that it reflects a little bit. Uh, let's do a little bit less so that you can kind of vaguely see uh, what it looks like. So, um, when you play it, so I think that looks pretty good. Now, um, I will render it and prepare. Well, first, let's uh, just see the camera angle. No. So, we have to do to select the camera angle is I'll just right click on the camera, shift right click on the plane, and then do control T and track to constraint. Now, the camera is always pointing to the middle of the plane. So, I will drag this up. So, you have to worry about um, where it looks and stuff. So, press zero. Sorry, I forgot that. Zero to look through the view of the camera. And, oh, sorry. I keep on having to pause the recording. Um, yeah, so I'll press this back button. I keep on forgetting that. Uh, and that's what I'm doing. So, move this over a bit. And move it back. I can really repress any G, but I don't really feel like it. Okay. Um, move it up. Back. Good. So, I'm trying to get the whole thing in in uh, view. Yeah. Good. Looks very nice. So, move this, move this down a little bit so that it gets the whole thing. And, um, yeah. So, I will go over to this, uh, the where's the way right? Press the camera tab. And, I will uh, press animation. And, um, this will take a little while, but, uh, in a, ugh, 
Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, so, uh, first animation, and I will get back to you in a couple minutes. No, my bad, I will not get to you, okay? So, for, sorry, before you do that, um, go down to PNG, just to make it more simpler when you actually add the music. PNG, go to MPEG, which, was, which is a video file, not, uh, different, uh, individual uh, pictures. So, now I will see you in a couple minutes. So I am back, and it didn't uh, really. It basically things came up, and it took longer than a couple minutes. It was probably about six hours later right now, but it's okay. It uh, took very, very uh, little time to render. It looks like this, and to get the sound with it, here's what you need to do. So what I'm going to use is Windows Live Movie Maker. You can use any program. Uh, so I'm going to. Uh, I have it. Right here, Movie Maker. I will go to TMP. Uh, Windows. Yeah, TMP. Now is this, which uh, here so this AVI right here. I will drag it into this, and <clears throat> I will. I'm going to do Add Music, and then I'm going to go to. Uh, my desktop where it is saved and go to tutorial.wav. So here's what it looks like. I don't know if uh, you can see that because it was kind of a different, different window kind of thing. But here, uh, maybe. <laughs> Never mind. This, this is the wrong thing. I'm so sorry. I, uh, this is, this is the wrong, um, video. Let, let me just, uh, mix this up. Sorry, it, it's not that. Uh, sorry, just a second. I'm gonna pause the video. Oh, okay, so I just have to basically render it because it wasn't uh, in video. Don't worry about that. Okay, so um, I have it right here. Um, maybe here. I clicked. So I will open with Movie Maker, and it now has my stuff. So um, <clears throat> add music, and uh, I will go to yeah. and here. Show the WAV. Now, this should work. <laughs> Sorry about that other thing, okay. Alright, so it looks like it's, uh, it's behaving pretty well. Okay, so all I have to do now is file, save movie, and I'll just do for high definition. Um, yeah, okay. Save. Okay. So, play. <laughs> 